this is the uh, introduction of the uh, next evolution in Siemens uh, PET CT systems, which involves um, continuous uh, motion of the patient table or flow motion technology. The implementation of continuous bed motion and the flexibility this affords in tailoring uh, PET CT acquisitions to individual patient needs is a, a significant move forward. In design of an acquisition protocol, it's now possible to uh, vary the table motion over different parts of the patient's anatomy and in so doing to emphasize uh, collecting more activity over parts that require a higher resolution uh, uh, anatomic reconstruction and minimizing spending time over parts of the body where uh, abnormalities are not often found or expected or where the reconstruction does not need to have such a high uh, anatomic resolution and fidelity. Advantage to patients from the uh, continuous bed motion, flow motion acquisition uh, uh, possibilities, uh, I think, stems largely from the ability to, uh, in a single acquisition, uh, acquire high resolution imaging of some parts of the body and traditional uh, whole body coverage uh, at uh, a typical resolution for the rest. To achieve this currently with uh, stop and shoot approaches usually requires that parts of the body where we want to accentuate anatomic um, uh, reconstructed resolution um, undergo a dedicated additional acquisition at the end of the whole body uh, acquisition. So there's more time spent by the patient. Uh, it occupies more technologist time in setting up the acquisition. Uh, and I think with the continuous table motion and established uh, protocols to maximize uh, uh, reconstruction uh, of the data, uh, it's possible to do this uh, all in one uh, acquisition and uh, with matching or even perhaps better uh, fidelity than we currently have available. In, in most implementations, I think, the availability of continuous bed motion, the flow motion technology, will have a major impact in terms of uh, reallocation of imaging time uh, for an individual patient. Most laboratories will probably not significantly shorten the amount of time scheduled for imaging a patient. Uh, and this in part is because most of our work is done with FDG uh, and that requires advanced planning in terms of uh, maintaining a fixed interval between tracer injection and beginning the data acquisition. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if one's laboratory does studies every 20 or 30 or 40 minutes, it means that the imaging time allocated to each patient can be redistributed to maximize collecting data where it may be of critical importance uh, at the expense of spending less time imaging parts of the body um, where the data are not likely to be informative. One of the sites that has initial experience with the flow motion technology um, reports that uh, patient satisfaction with the continuous bed motion uh, is substantially more favorable than with the t traditional stop and shoot uh, 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 bed position acquisitions. Uh, they report that uh, patients are uh, satisfied with the feedback that the table is continuously moving and that the acquisition is actually underway, as opposed to stop and shoot where periodically there are uh, periods of time where uh, patients may wonder whether the scanner is still functioning, uh, whether the scan is still on, or whether they've come to the end of the acquisition and uh, are free to move about. I think that the flow motion, continuous table motion technology uh, providing feedback to the patient that the scan is underway and they should remain motionless and that data are being collected um, has the potential to uh, in, improve their experience in PET-CT imaging um, through that continuous feedback.